going guys it's maroon here from controller mods au today you'll be seeing we have a controller here it looks like a scuff controller but really it is a, a controller mods au controller a good customer of mine is um is pretty much a gaming enthusiast and has a lot of controllers and he had this line around at home and wanted to get it upgraded so we did uh just that and i'll give you an example of what we did through what we did with this controller obviously we take out the scuff shell on the back we introduced our shell and you can see the buttons look a bit different here. We've got two buttons in the middle. This is where he wanted to have these buttons located. And we did some magic in there to get them in there. I always got two on the outside. We also, he had already came with smart triggers, um, but he wanted to add the smart bumpers, which we've done for that as well. And you can just see that nice little, get that near the microphone. So they're really cool. We also added a remap chip and the remap chip is our own remap chip so it's completely changed obviously the scuff controller has a different circuitry board so we put ours in there and also if you notice that blue dot but you can also notice the usb port is a usb c port so it's a new modification we're going to be releasing real soon any day now just getting it sorted out but uh yeah you can actually plug in your own usb c so if you've got a usb c you don't have to plug in anymore and I'll show you how that remap chip works in a second too. So we're just gonna plug it in here. I'm just gonna take my hand off the camera in front of my face, plug it in, and you can see we're already connected to the gamepad tester here. Uh, we added tension as well on the right side. So we've got tension on the right side here. Um, like I said, we've got the bumpers, triggers, and all the buttons on the back. So we've got X on the left, we've got square on the right, this is how I play. Uh, I have normally, if you're plating up, you can plate up on the uh, right there. And on this side, you can actually pin people. And you can assign these buttons to anywhere on the back of the controller from the face here, except for the touchpad and the option share button. Um, to do that, you've got to go into program mode. And how you do that, guys, you've got to hold down your bumpers and triggers all at the same time. And if I just hold them all down, that little blue light will flash in a second. There you go. Once you see that, let go. We're now in program mode. And hypothetically, say we want to put the... Uh, button on the back just to do one at, the, at this time we're just going to put square on the right or the left sorry hold down the button the back hold the one in the front let go of the back let go of the front and to get out you just got to touch the touchpad we're out and then you can see now we've assigned that button to there and you just got to follow that sequence pretty easy but anyway guys hope you liked the little video keep it short and sweet three minutes only so uh yeah a scuff slash controller mods au controller but really all inside is controller mods au what do you do Anyway, hope you like the video, guys. Take care. If you like something like this, go check us out. Control.